You know what they say, knowledge is power, and that even counts when it comes to tackling your hair. Here to teach us a thing or two about the science behind hair, please welcome Erin O'Brien. Hello, oh my gosh, always the best. Yes. How are you? I'm really good, I'm just glad I am a scientist you, today. Official scientist. Official, that's what my degree is in, is science. Yes, well, not really. no, but I love it. Today, <laughs> yes. that's the today, thing, the that's science the thing. of hair. So this is so fascinating, because yes. the science of hair and knowing kind of what it does can help you actually care for your hair. 100%. Okay, right yes. on, yeah. So I think we're gonna be talking about the porosity of hair. Yes. Well, first of all, I wanna talk about bonds and what the hair is made up of. Okay. So we have our hydrogen bonds, mm -hmm. we have our ionic bonds, mm -hmm. and we also have our uh, covalent bonds mm. as well. Mm -hmm. So there are the three types of bonds that make up the hair mm -hmm. and what can cause damage by heating and coloring and changing the porosity of hair. Okay, so yes. how can we tell what type of hair, how porous our hair is? Well, we're going to do a little test. Love it. We're going to do a science <laughs> yes, experiment. Science yeah, okay. experiment. <laughs> okay, so first up, we have a piece of hair here, and we dropped it in earlier on, this so it would sink. This is the weirdest thing that's ever been it is in my weird. kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Floating hair. Yeah. <laughs> so this hair is highly porous, so it absorbs um, moisture, mm -hmm. and that's why how you know if it's like really porous. Yeah. And that's what um, that has to do. It's about um, retention of moisture. Got it. It's almost like there's little holes, so it absorbs. Yes. the moisture. You're mm -hmm. explaining this better than I am. Oh, I got it. I'm the layman. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that is, that has, that hair is really poor. So that's been colored to the hilt and it's really damaged. Okay. So now we need healthy hair. Mm -hmm. So healthy hair should flow to the top. Okay. So we need some healthy hair. And I know we're not going to let, you're not going to let me cut yours. I was like, I also don't know how healthy she is. So <laughs> yeah. this is a wig, so cut mine. I'm changing what? it next week. Yeah. So you're going to take a bit off the top okay, here. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All uh, right, and then we're going to. How much are we talking? As much as you want. Oh I don't my mind. gosh. Oh my gosh. I've you never. Can do it. <laughs> And then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, this is gonna float on the top. There we go. Okay. So healthy hair, if not porous, will always float on the top okay. of water. Okay. So this is a great way to test it. Yeah. And if you want to make sure, add moisture to your hair, if mm -hmm. it is really porous, mm -hmm. that will make it float. Okay. <laughs> and your hair will be much healthier. Right yes. on. I like that. So we want our hair to not be super porous. Exactly. Exactly. And like, yeah. cause otherwise, because if it's letting water in, it's letting it out. It's letting it it's out. It's letting it it's out. It's letting it out. All right. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about the bleach test. And I feel yes. like everybody knows what this is. And I feel like you know, because you ask your clients, have you ever box dyed your hair? And they yeah. say no, but you're like, you're you a liar. liar. Yeah, yeah. You're always lying. Because <laughs> you're like, how much is this going to cost? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why would we want to do a bleach test? Okay, so we want to know what's underlying in the hair. Mm -hmm. So if you box dye, it's harder to break through, mm -hmm. or if it's already highlighted, it's actually very dangerous if we don't give that information. Okay. So we always do a strand test with lightener mm -hmm. to make sure that you're not lying. Oh, um, yeah. He's going to catch you. Yes, we're going to catch you. Not only a scientist, he's also a detective. <laughs> yeah. So we have two strands of hair here. Okay. One that we use colored. This is already blonde, mm -hmm. and we also color it here on mm -hmm. the, th the top as well mm -hmm. to see how it lifts. Mm -hmm. So if we put lightener, we're mm -hmm. going to open up this Mary here. Okay. Yeah, let's reveal. Ooh, okay. This is fun and exciting. So the lightener has worked on this and peroxide as well. Okay. Peroxide really gets in on the hair mm -hmm. and lifts that lightener. Mm -hmm. So you will see what's happened here. Oh. So Ooh. it's completely lifted and this hair has been highlighted before. And what's really bad about it, if you don't tell the hairstylist about it. It's all like pulling. It's like gum. Ooh. Oh, it God. breaks apart, Ooh, it's like noodles. No. So it's a very important test to do. Okay. Yes. That is, uh, so So don't lie. Don't That's lie. That's the number one. Don't lie. Quit lying to your hairdresser, they know. And if you do, expect the worst. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now with this strand of hair, we use box dye on it, okay? All right. Um, and box dye, it has high peroxide levels in some of them as well. Is that and why it, it works so quickly? That's why it works so quickly and it's super hard to lift. So if mm. you are going to use it, no shame to anyone who uses mm. it, but try use a lighter color. Got it. If you use lighter, it's easier to lift out. Okay. So we're going to have a little look at this here okay. as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how this much this... This smells nice. I don't... I Is don't... That... I've never been around foils before it's more, and it smells really nice yeah, yeah. the lightener is nice mm -hmm. it's kind of, you can see here that there's a build-up it looks kind of green yes um there's it's patchy as well yeah and bauxite is very hard to lift out for got that it. very reason it just doesn't break it down got as well it. got it okay okay right on right. so moral of this science story don't lie to your don't hairdresser because your hair will turn into gum yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right unless you like that unless you like that okay now moving on you also wanted to talk about how heat can actually change the color yes. of your hair if your hair has been colored. So um, 
heat can really affect the hair. It breaks mm -hmm. down the hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are the weakest bonds in the hair. Mm -hmm. They also, that affects like shape of the hair as well. Mm -hmm. Like if it sets or when you style, mm -hmm. that's what hydrogen bonds are about. Okay. But this is why we should be very careful with how high the heat is we use on color. Mm -hmm. So these have been pre-colored before. I'll mm -hmm. let you do the flat iron. All right. And this being pre-colored before, we have this at a temperature of 450 degrees. So hot. Okay, so okay. very hot. You're gonna hold for a minute, not a whole minute, but just into one place and hold it really tight. Okay, hold All right, really count tight. it. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten, and open. Oh okay. my gosh. So I don't know if you can see that Whoa, there. Wow, you can completely see that. Yeah. So it lifts the color very easy, and that's why you always have to be very careful and use a heat protector. Heat protectors are a must in, with, when you're uh, heat styling when hair. When you're heat styling yes. hair? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Yeah. Okay. It's like that color changing Barbie. It is a little bit. Yeah. Like the mermaid Barbie. So if you use a heat protector, it's going to protect. And so you're going to yes. show us right now that kind of heat works. protector. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just cut that there. Okay. You get your scissors behind oh you. Oh my God, scissors. Whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so go. Mary, you're going to do your heat test. I will hold the top of this. You're going to bring it down the piece of paper. Okay. We can oh, see wow. it there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it turns it pretty much completely black. Yeah. All right. So then we're going to get our next piece here. Mary, you're very good at all am, this cutting. I'm a scissor girl, I guess. You are a scissor this. girl. So we want to spritz <laughs> this with... Sorry. <laughs> we want to spritz this with heat protector. <laughs> Not only one of the best heat protectors, yeah. but this is AOB. Yeah. This I is, think I know the owner of this I company, and I think he's standing right to my right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Miracle Spray Detanger and Heat Protector, yeah. up to 410 degrees, which is all you should be really heating your hair. Yeah. But even at a high... A high temperature, mm -hmm. this is going to make such a difference. So you spritz your hair okay. if your hair was wet, and mm -hmm. you're going to just do the same thing, okay. bring it down. Less. Less. Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at the difference here. Between so you can that. see. If, mm. So heat protector is an absolute must mm -hmm. for protection of hair. Mm -hmm. And then to protect the bonds in the hair as well, we want to make sure that we're using a rebonding mask. Okay. So that multiplies the amount of bonds in the hair, mm -hmm. giving it more protection. Mm -hmm. Artificially, of course, yes. the only thing that really fixes hair is a good haircut. Is a good haircut. Yes. Oh my gosh. But it's a way to protect the hair. That's fantastic. Aaron O'Brien, scientist Aaron O'Brien. Thank you. What a delight it's been. And thanks <laughs> to Aaron, you're all going home with an AOP det detangling spray, the Miracle Spray, and a natural bamboo hairbrush. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.